continuing on with my example, if we continue to open up more and more layers, you can see that I've layered the background images one on top of another. At a certain point, I decided that I wanted to add more than six pictures, so I added another picture. I went to see Hamilton um, last spring, and so I added a picture of the Hamilton background. I then started to add in other elements in my design. So I wanted to include the Philadelphia pretzels, and so I isolated it using a layer mask. I did it kind of twofold. So I created what is called a smart object. If I double click this smart object, it opens into a new .psb file, which is a Photoshop big file, which we already know at this point in the semester. But it is also a file format used for smart objects. And in here you can see that I've created a basic outline of a layer mask to get rid of the background. If I disable this layer mask, you can see that it had a background. When you close out of a smart object, um, you can return and then that change has been saved. However, after I placed the image of the pretzels, I decided that I wanted to fade the sides a little bit and I wanted the trees to kind of show through on the right hand side. And so if you look closely down here at my layer mask, you can see that I've added another layer mask to remove more of the image than was removed previously. I also decided to layer some additional images on top of my background. And so I went to New Orleans last summer, so I layered a picture of New Orleans. And then I wrapped up the bottom right hand corner by adding that last picture that goes on the right hand side. And I faded it up into the car or the bicycle image using a layer mask, but I didn't worry about the left hand side because I know I'm going to put the shape of New Jersey there.